Let's make a hot dog and a cool cat. So we're going to make hot dogs and cool cats for our art project. Let's learn about warm, also known as hot, and cool, also known as cold, colors. What are warm and cool colors? Hi, I'm Deja. And I'm Jacob. And, and this, this is ArtQuest. ArtQuest! Did you know colors have a temperature? Like hot and cold? Yes! For instance, my favorite color is blue. What kind of things does the color blue remind you of? Blue reminds me of the ocean, nighttime, and polar bears. Mm -hmm. Polar bears? <laughs> well, the ice where the polar bears live is pretty cool there. That's exactly right! <laughs> Greens and purples are called cool colors because they remind us of things that are cool, like a lake, a night sky, or a field of grass. Are there warm colors too? There sure are. Warm colors include reds, oranges, and yellows. You know, things that make us feel warm. Like fire, the sun, and spicy peppers. Exactly! <laughs> what colors are around you? Do they make you feel cool or warm? Take a closer look because really, art, art is, is all around, around you. So what are the warm and cool colors? Warm colors are reds, oranges, and yellows. Pink is included too because it is a tint, a light red. Warm colors make us feel warm or hot because they remind us of things like the fire and the sun. Cool colors are greens, blues, and violets. Cool colors make us feel cool because they remind us of things outside like water, grass, and plants. We can split the color wheel in half and find warm and cool colors on opposite sides. So here is a color wheel. If we split it in half with this line that's a vertical line going down, this half is all cool colors and this half is all warm colors. Sometimes artists will limit their colors to just warm or cool colors to make us feel a certain way. This is a painting by Vincent Van Gogh called Sunflowers and it is an example of using warm colors in an artwork. He used all shades of yellow. We see a little bit of green, but it is mostly warm colors. Here's a famous artwork called The Great Wave by Hokusai. This is an example of using all cool colors in an artwork. Lots of blues, light blue, dark blue, medium blue is shown here. So we're going to make a hot dog and a cool cat, and here are our directions. First, we'll fold our paper in half for a guide. We'll draw a line down the middle that will split the hot side and the cool side. We'll write hot dog and cool cat on our paper. We'll draw our dog and cat in pencil, and you can follow along with my video. Then we'll outline with a black marker, you can add lines, shapes, and patterns to your animals. Color your dog side with hot colors, reds, oranges, and yellows. Remember, you can use pink too. And then color your cat side with cool colors, greens, blues, and violets. Don't forget about your backgrounds. Remember not to mix the color groups, so you're keeping warms and cools separate. So for your materials today, you'll need a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, and a black marker of some kind to outline. And then you will need some warm and cool colors or hot and cold colors. So we have our warm colors and our cool colors. And I have some markers. Then I also have a bunch of crayons. Let's separate them into warms and cools. So remember, warm colors are reds, pinks, oranges, and yellows. And then cool colors are greens, blues, and violets or purples. So in the material you're using, try to separate your warms and your cools so that when you're ready to add color, you're all set. Let's get started drawing our hot dog and our cool cat. 
So to get started, we're going to fold our paper in half hamburger style. That means I'm going to take the two shorter sides and fold them so they touch each other. So I'm gonna just take one, it doesn't matter which one, fold it and line up the corners, make a crease, and then I'm going to open it back up. Now where that crease is, I'm going to draw a line. You could do a wavy line, a zigzag line, a straight line. What other lines have you learned about lately? I'm going to do a wavy line. Kind of like right on top of the crease there. This will separate my paper into two parts. This side will be the hot dog and this side will be the cool cat. I'm going to write that on the top here. Now we're going to fold our paper in half another way. So we're going to take the longer side and fold it so it touches the opposite side. Then you're gonna make another crease, open it up. So this will tell us where we want to start drawing our dog's head. So about where the crease is, is where you want your head to be above. Below will be the body. I'm going to put my finger here, make a little mark, little dot, and then I'm going to draw a upside down triangle shape. This will be the dog's nose. Then I'm going to do a short line, very short little line that comes out, make two smile lines that come out to the sides. That will be the dog's cheeks. I'm going to do a small curve underneath. This would be the dog's tongue, a little line in the middle. Then we're going to do a slightly curved line, like a little bit of a rainbow line above for the top of the dog's head. Then we'll connect that with two diagonal lines. After, we're going to make an oval shape on each side. This will be the ear shape. And it's important that when you do this, you're drawing with a pencil, you're drawing lightly so that you can erase it just like I am, if you need to make it a little bit different. We're gonna end up outlining this after. Now let's draw the dog's eyes. You can use two circles or oval shapes. You wanna space them at least a finger or two apart. And then I'm going to cut them in half with a slightly curved line. The lower half, I color it in black, but I can leave a little circle that's white, and that would be the reflection of my dog's eye. So I'm drawing a little circle, and I'm gonna just shade it in with my pencil, so I'm showing you guys that you're gonna color that in. Leave that little circle white that is the reflection. Now let's work on the lower half of the drawing. Right below the dog's cheeks, we are going to draw two straight lines but stop about three fingers above the edge of the paper. Two straight lines right below the cheeks, the middle of the cheek. Then I'm going to do a line that breaks that in half, but I'm not gonna go all the way up to the tongue. About like right here. After that, we're going to draw the paws. So remember that cloud line that we've been working on? We're gonna use that for the paw shape. So here I'm going to start, it's kind of like the letter C. Here I will do a backwards letter C, and then I will just continue with those curves to make a paw shape. And it doesn't have to be perfect. After that, we need to do the back legs. Dogs have four legs, not two. So this dog is sitting and his back legs are behind him. So I'm going to do a curved line that's kind of like the lowercase letter N. 
on each side, so like an N. Then I'm going to make that C shape again, so like the letter C, and then a backward C on the other side, then another little curved line to connect it. We're missing a couple things here. Our dog has a tail, and guess what? Dogs have whiskers. Dogs have whiskers just like cats, but they look like little dots because the hairs are shorter and they're gonna be close to their nose on the lower part of their cheeks. Then we're going to draw the tail. You could pick a side for the tail to come out of. I'll pick this side for this example. I'm going to do a curved line, another curved line that comes up, and then I'm gonna add a little zigzag at the end to show that it is fur. Your dog might have a fluffier tail, you can make it bigger or shaped a little bit differently. That is totally up to you. Now let's draw our cool cat. I'm going to start this the same way I started with the hot dog drawing. I'm going to put my finger right above the crease, put a little dot, then I'm going to draw an upside down triangle shape for the cat's nose. After that, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing, a short little line down from the triangle, then two smile lines that come out for the mouth. Then I'm going to draw the top of the head with a little curve, and then I will draw two diagonal lines that go at an angle, one going that way, one going the other way, to make the shape of the cat's ears. Then I'm going to connect this line down to the smile line. After that, let's draw the cat's eyes. So cat's eyes are different than dog's eyes. Dog's eyes are oval or circle shaped. Cat's eyes kind of look like a football shape or like a lemon. So we're going to start with a rainbow line, so an arch and then one on the other side. So this might be a cat that is sleeping. You could choose to keep your cat's eyes like this, but if you want them to be open, you're going to draw a smile line below. So a, a curve that looks like a smile that connects to the top line and makes it a shape. Then we're going to draw two lines in the middle where it's like a very thin oval for the cat's pupil. This will be colored in black. I'm also going to leave a little circle or an oval white for the reflection of the eye. That's where the light is hitting the cat's eye. Next, let's draw the body. So the body is pretty much the same as the dog's body. I'm going to start in the middle of the cheeks draw two straight lines that come down about three fingers from the bottom of the paper. Then we're going to draw the line in the middle that separates each leg. I'm not going to go all the way to the top. Then we're going to start with that cloud shape for the paws. So I'm going to use a small letter C, a backwards letter C, and then make the cloud shape line. Next, we need to draw the back legs. These are two tall letter N shapes, like the letter N that is lowercase. Then I'm going to draw that little C and backwards C. And next, I'm going to draw the cat's tail. Now, cats sometimes like to put their tail into a spiral. So let's try to draw a spiral tail. So what you'll want to do is start on the side, come up and around and start to draw that spiral line. I'm not gonna draw it super small. I'm gonna stop about there. Then I'm going to continue that line, come back around, 
and the tail is getting wider as I get closer to the lake. One last thing that our cat is missing is whiskers. So I'm going to draw whiskers that come out from the sides by the nose, about three or four on each side. Next step, I'm going to draw a ground line or a horizon line, we would call this, that the cat and dog are sitting on. Then we're going to outline with a black marker. So I'm gonna go over my pencil lines carefully and trace them so they show up more. One thing to remember with your horizon line or the, li or the line that is the ground is that it doesn't go through your cat or dog, it goes behind it. So you draw it, you stop at the legs, then you draw it on the other side. Now I'm going to take an eraser and erase the pencil lines that are peeking through so that my artwork looks neater. Now it's time to start adding color. First, let's add some spots and designs to our hot dog and our cool cat. Remember that we are using hot or warm colors for our dog and we are using cool colors for our cat. So for designs or spots on your dog and cat, you can draw any kind of line and make it into a shape. I'm using a wavy line here to make spots on my dog. Like this might be different colored fur that the dog has. Also color in the dog's tongue with a pink or a red. The nose will be black. So you can color in the dog's nose black. For your cat's nose, it might be black. It could also be a shade of pink. Even though this is a cool colored drawing, you can use pink, which is actually a warm color, but for the cat's nose, if you wanted to use pink there, that is fine. Now for the cat, I'm going to draw some kind of a zigzag shape. end up being like patches of fur that are different colors. You can use any coloring materials that you like, but remember to use hot or warm colors on your hot dog and cool or cold colors on your cool cat. So when I'm coloring these in, I can just color in the spots that I made a certain color, and then I can color in the rest of the shape you could do a blend of colors it's totally up to you just that you use warm and cool colors separately
for the cat's eyes, you should color it in one color on the corner, so on each side of the black center. For dog's eyes, you could leave this part white or you could color it in a color, but cats actually don't have any white in their eyes. So I am going to color this in with a green. Um, cats often have kind of a greenish yellow colored eye. I think I will use two colors of green here. Then for the dog's eyes, I'm actually going to color in this part brown but I'm going to leave the little dot white because remember that's the reflection of the eye. Don't forget about your backgrounds. Remember the dog has a warm colored background and the cat has a cool colored background. Alright, so I think I am done with my hot dog and cool cat drawing using warm and cool colors separately. I can't wait to see yours. Have fun, artists!